Steph on the relocate, but you see Royce O'Neal right with him. <laughs> Curry hit a three anyway. That's the crazy part. You can play amazing defense. Royce O'Neal. Ship teams. Mm. That, that's how rare it is to be top three on both ends of the floor. That's what I'm saying. Everybody keeps saying they don't have the experience. Sometimes they got to break through as Steph breaks through there. Two defenders around him. Float game. 50%, 10 of 20 each from the field. Stefan Mieoni. And they're running Steph off the three point line, so he's hitting twos right now. And Curry's got eight. Every kind of shot, too. And if you're going to play with Curry all at the three point, gave it up. That's why he doesn't pass right there. Oh. Steph went through the entire roster. He passed by Mark Eaton and laid it up and in. He went through the Utah history book right there. I believe that's the tenth duration fade away. Watch that Denver game where he had 48. Steph, an open three, and Royce O'Neal's like, he got one on me. Mm. Looney raised the weak side, was ready for it, even though he was helping in. Steph beat the double team that time. Teardrop. And so Curry's got 22. And he left some space in between the two defenders. Steph turned the corner and got it up on the glass before Gobert could get to it. Just using his quickness. If he's up on that. Utah burst the first four minutes. And now Curry with a steal. Ball boy, get out of the way! <laughs> and Curry <laughs> laying it up and in. I'm glad he did his job, though, and, and cleaned up that area so Steph could have some traction going to lay it in. Uh, at 31 in the fourth. Curry running teardrop. Nice big shot. Big shot at a big time, and another game of 30 for 30. Just used the two defenders' momentum again. For the lead. Rattled it out. Looney will track it down. Steph one more time for the advantage. Good! <laughs> if at first you don't succeed, you know what they say. Try, try again, especially if your name is Stephen Curry. What a big shot. So Looney gave Steph a second opportunity. And he cashes in a three and a one-point lead with 13 seconds left. He's just so big time. And he never loses confidence. And you missed the first one. This is the movement without the ball, that little juke move without the ball, got him the advantage against O'Neal. And again, using Gobert. Who is guarding Draymond? Nobody. It should have been Gobert. But you got so much space. Look where Gobert is. He's the only one that's supposed to be guarding this screen.